Okay, today I'm going to show how you can use the renovation filter for design options. In this instance, I'm going to show the, this is a, a very rough sketch of a house with potentially a garage on the side. So to start off, you'll want to go to your renovation filter options. You can either select it down there, down at the bottom of your screen, for a little house, or under document, <coughs> renovations, and then renovation filter options. Both will get you to the same place. And expand this out a little bit. So in order to have different options, well, to begin with, we've got different renovation filters for all the different um, plans and layouts that you currently have. So I'm going to find one that's closest to what I'm looking for and then duplicate that. So I'm gonna do floor plans and duplicate that. And I'm gonna call this garage option one. And you select okay. <clears throat> and from here, I'm also gonna duplicate that one more time and do design op or garage option two. So we've got two different options to go with. Okay, so now, I'm going to come into the 3D. So I've got two different options, or two different. So I'm going to take the whole garage and I'm going to assign that to the renovation filter of design option one. But before that, I'm going to pull up the, the palette, the renovation filter palette. So that way it helps keep things a little bit easier. <clears throat> so that way you can see all your different options here as well. So in order to do that, I'm going to go into the settings of the walls and the roof that I just selected. And then under classifications and properties, renovation status, we're going to keep that as existing. But then instead of having the renovate or having it show on renovation filter, all relevant filters, we're going to change that to only show on garage option one. That takes a second or two to apply. Click OK. So when you grab multiple different elements, sometimes it only changes one of them at a, or yeah, one one kind of element at a time instead of both of them. So I just changed my roof to design option one, and I'm going to go and change my walls to design option one as well. And that will also disappear from this view because this view is not showing design option one. So if you want to see design option one, you can use the little toggle, go to garage option one, and that shows up. So we want a second option. <clears throat> well, before we get into that, we'll set up a layout to where you can see, or a view to where you can see design option one and design option two. So here's just the generic floor plan. I'm gonna change the, the filter to design option one, and then I'm going to create, I'm gonna save the current view, and it'll save this one out as a new view. I'm going to customize that name. First floor, garage, garage option one. Keep all the settings the same except for that. So then I'm going to take, take this garage and I'm going to grab a copy of that and rotate that back flush. And that is not a square. Put that to zero. It's not wanting to do it clean. I'm going to try that again. Okay, rotate that. Maybe we can get it clean this time. Okay, clean 45 degrees. Move that up. And then for this, I'm going to change the design option here from design option one to design option two. Okay, it takes a second. Click OK. So that's going to disappear. So now I'm going to change the view to design option two. 
create a new view. First floor, garage option to create. So now I have that. I'm going to come into 3D real quick and put a roof on that. So I can toggle between design option 1 and design option 2. Design option 2 has no roof. And there you go. So now we've got two different options, option one or option two and option one. Except I forgot to put that roof on the correct renovation filter. I'll change that real quick. Put that option two and then that'll disappear for us. There you go. Now you can toggle between the two different options. Again, this is very basic, but you can use it for a lot more complex of, of projects or different design options. And you can put anything that you can assign a renovation filter or a renovation filter for. You can you can use this for. So there's um, design options with the renovation filter.